The Base Linker system allows you to send parcels individually or in bulk. In addition, we have automatic actions on our educational account that segregate orders according to the delivery method. In this case, we have FedEx, DHL, UPS, or TNT courier orders. After entering a given group, we have orders from each courier. As you can see on the list, we have orders for all the couriers. First of all, let's move on to sending the courier directly from the orders card. Below, we have information on which shipping method has been selected in the order. In our case, it is a DHL courier. Go to the Shipment section. Choose DHL courier. First, we have to choose the date of shipment. Let's choose today. The type of package. Let's choose a package. We can mark the information whether there is to be a notification. Section Cash on Delivery, Insurance, Additional Services that we can select. The Notes and Package Contents field is filled automatically in our case. The courier integration is configured in this way. The weight is taken from the order and the dimensions are set by default in the configuration of our integration. We can add another parcel below or remove it. At this point, we can select a non-standard dimension. Click Send Package DHL. In our shipment section, the package has been sent successfully. We can generate a PDF label here. As you can see, the label has been created according to the information from the order. We can save such a label on our disk or send it directly to our printer. Here we can download the protocol. We can print such a protocol for the courier. These are all shipments for a given period or cancel the shipment at the same place. We confirm. Let's go back to the order list. From the list of orders, we can generate courier labels for many orders. In our case, we have orders for all our couriers here. Unfortunately, from the list level, we can only generate for a specific delivery method. Let it be DHL courier in our case. With the order selected, click the blue button. As you can see, we have information here for which orders we generate the label. We choose DHL PL and fill in all the information we need here. Click Send a DHL Parcel. We have information that we have generated the labels correctly. We have information about the shipment number. We can generate all labels. On our screen, as you can see, we have two labels that have been generated for our orders. Let's close the window. As you can see, the icon on the list of orders has changed. We have information about the generated shipment. We can copy its number or the tracking link. So let's move on to labeling orders that have a different delivery method. It is possible because on our educational account, we have configured an automatic action in the form of an own event. So let's select random orders that have a different delivery method. We have a DHL courier selected and let's say this order with a UPS courier. We enter the action section and our own event, display a courier label. Such an event should be prepared by the account administrator. We click display. In the lower left corner, we have information that we have launched three automatic actions. Let's check if we have generated courier labels correctly. From the list, we can see that we have a shipment for DHL and let's check for our order. We also have a DHL label. This time we choose the filtering as no courier module. We set the filter. We have three items. We have not yet generated a courier label for these orders. Let's move on to the next stage. That is, from the orders tab, let's see how to enter the sending number for the label generated outside the base linker system. But we would like it to be on the orders tab because we want to use it in email communication or show the information on the customer information page.
We choose the courier. And enter the package number. We save. In the section provided, we have information that the shipment has been entered manually and information that the status will not be tracked. We can cancel such a shipment at this point. The Baselinker account administrator can also enter these send numbers via his own script. In the history of changes in the order, we have information about which user and at what date and time deleted the given shipment. Labeling in Baselinker is very similar for all courier integrations. Depending only on the courier, we fill out other rules that are necessary to generate the label. We can preview all generated labels by going to the Integrations tab. Here we have a list of courier integrations configured by the account administrator. In our case, let's move on to the DPD courier. We go to the Settings. We have the Created Packages section. Here we can view the date of sending, order number, posting number, or shipment status. By selecting all of them, we can download labels, a protocol, or order a pickup. Let's order a pickup. We choose the date of shipment. Let it be the next day. We write it down. We have information that we have correctly ordered the courier. The section below shows detailed information about our order or the number of shipments, collection times, date, and order number. Selected parcels can be massively removed. We confirm. Shipments have been deleted. All options when it comes to ordering a courier or the possibility of canceling a shipment, it depends on the courier integration. Let's go back to the Integration tab and this time choose the DHL courier. We also have information about created parcels here. We can select all. Similarly to the previous courier, we have information about the order, shipping number, and status. We can also preview the label or send it directly to the printer. Let's also delete shipments. Shipments have been properly deleted. It is also worth adding that we can generate many courier labels for one order.